Hello, my name is Shane Moran from ECBM. The topic of our conversation today is something that each and every CFO knows exists within their insurance and risk management program, but until today, they just haven't been able to quantify it. What I'm referring to is known in the industry as financial leakage. This financial leakage exists within each and every insurance program out there. It doesn't matter whether you're on a bundled basis, where the insurance carrier directly handles the claims management, or whether you've been able to unbundle and outsource those claims handling to a third-party administrator. The questions that I hear most often from various CFOs are, where is the financial leakage occurring within my program? How much leakage is occurring? And how can I recapture that wasted capital? Well, we spent the last several years further developing the analytics that we use, and we're now able to accurately answer those questions. We're able to take your specific data and benchmark it against your individual industry, and then we're able to take that data and compare it to what it would look like in our model. And what we found is that our clients have seen reductions of over 21% in their workers' compensation costs and over 14% in their general liability spend. ECBM was founded back in 1970 by a cost accountant. His promise to his clients was to deliver the most cost-effective insurance or risk management program available. The ECBM mantra was to constantly peel back the layers of the onion to get to the real cost drivers of the program. 48 years later, that message still holds true. If I can, let me give an example of this. A current client of mine, a large national service provider, has an unbundled large deductible workers' compensation program. However, that wasn't always the case. Prior to our involvement, they were on a bundled basis. When we first restructured their program, we were able to achieve a savings of over 35% for this insured. What's important to point out here is that that savings was not derived from the cost of the paper, but rather the restructuring of the claims handling. Fast forward a couple years, we've continued to dive down into the program, and each year we keep peeling back more layers and we've achieved greater savings every year. The most recent example of that happened this past year when we were able to find an additional 20% savings or leakage within their program. We just finished restructuring the program so that insured was able to recapture that 20%. I like to use this client as an example because many prospects will say, we've already unbundled. How much money is there really left in the program? Well, for this insured, it was 20%. Imagine if you were that CFO and I said to you, I can cut 20% from your insurance spend and put it directly back to your bottom line. He was pretty happy. For clients where we directly handle the placement of their insurance, these ongoing analysis is just simply part of the service that we provide. Recently, however, we've recognized that their many prospects have long-standing relationships with their current brokers and they don't want to disrupt them. So for those clients, We've recognized that relationship and we're more than willing to come in and act on a consulting basis to deliver the services that we provide. I'll end with a comment from a large national prospect. He said, it's great to finally speak with someone who knows exactly what I've been thinking about. What you're doing is both innovative and disruptive to the status quo. I just thought the comment was great. If you're interested in learning more about what we do, please contact me via the links below.